Howdy everyone, WarsRC here, and today we'll be looking at Pixel Gladiator on Nintendo Switch. Pixel Gladiator is a sort of tower defense game where you play an active part in the defense, actively running and gunning rather than just upgrading things. You'll build and upgrade walls, equip them with turrets, and equip and upgrade yourself as well with weapons and other stuff. At the start of each wave, enemies will spawn from both sides and make their way to attack your base. The higher the wave, the stronger tier the enemies are. To get money from killing the enemies, you have to kill them in front of the base's cameras. Now there are four modes. The first one is survival, which puts you in a base to survive as many waves as you can. Then there's the rest of them where you fight up to the boss and try to defeat it. Starting with Air Arena 1, which is the most basic level. And Air Arena 2 has you defending the base from flying enemies on three floating platforms. And then there's Air Arena 3 that starts you with the most starting money, but starts off with the harder enemies. Besides that, the only other thing to mention is a leaderboard that shows the best players as well as your highest score. So now that I've covered everything, let me give my thoughts on this. I'll say right away, I really like this. It gets tough, yes, but overall, it's really fun. The game controls great, even surprisingly so with my drifty Joy-Con when I played a few games undocked just for the heck of it. There's five different weapons, which, while that would seem like not much, it's more than enough to fit this game, especially given that out of the four modes, there's only one of them you'll actually be playing for a more extensive time. So my end statement is that this is a tough little indie that might just be worth checking out. So, if you want this game yourself, it's available on the eShop for $7. I'd like to thank Dragius Games SA for sending me the review key. This is WarsRC on the Game Clips channel, and I'm out.